We are going to the farm today. Welcome everyone and thank you so much for being here. For today's great adventure, we find ourselves at Great Scott's Farm here in Mount Dora, Florida for the Fall Festival. And they've got all kinds of activities of giant corn maze, a mini corn maze, hay rides, big playground, and I'm inviting you. Come join us, please. And you can see the line is already forming. We got our tickets online. We paid about $16 per person. And the theme of this fall festival is natural disasters, which is really ironic considering we had two major hurricanes blow by here within the past month. So check it out. We saved about $3 per person buying online. All right, got our armbands and we are in. And take a look behind me, a super slide. You get in a little sack and go all through the tube. I think Alex is gonna jump on it right now. And some things that are not included, they have food vendors and merchandise and tchotchke type of vendors as well here. Not including the price obviously, but they have plenty of, of uh, pop-up shops and stands set up selling those things and take a look at the corn maze it's a six and a half acre maze and the mini maze is a, is a half an acre hey i know this guy that's jake from safe farm jake what are you doing here and check it out my kids they are so corny and there was something i did not know is corn is both a grain and a fruit. And the US produces about one third of the world's corn. Check it out, we're gonna go up. Observation deck. And here's a better view of that corn maze. And the whole farm actually. And State Farm is actually one of the sponsors here today. And the First Lady Rhodey and Alex are playing tetherball. Giving Napoleon Dynamite vibes though, for sure. And somewhere in there, it's Cameron. Hey, check it out. I'm in a wind tunnel. You know, some people, they learn how to whisper in a wind tunnel, which is not whispering, actually. And we're getting ready to take the Sweet Corn Express. Corn maze. We've been throwing our annual fall. We grow 375 acres of red and green. We chop it, disc it, and incorporate it into the Orlando soil before Airport. fall planting. This is the green you need more room to grow. So the hay ride is about 15 minutes and very informative. They have 900 acres and they've been farming for over 60 years. That's very impressive. All right, here we go. We're going to hit that maze. A maze with natural disasters sponsored by State Farm. And we're going to hit this, the smaller one first and work our way through here. Wish us luck. And I will say this, some of the mazes, the corn stalk is so short, you kind of look over and cheat. Not these, these are good six foot, six and a half foot. And behind me is a station, it's four stations set up in this maze and they give uh, interesting facts. And one of the facts is that tornadoes, most tornadoes happen in the world, happen in the United States in Tornado Alley. And second station, sticking with the natural disaster theme, this one talks about flood water and floods and how dangerous and how rapid they can occur. Next station, earthquakes. It talks about the magnitude from four to up to nine and the devastation a nine could cause, which can almost flatten cities. And they've got like a, a lookout point right here. Get a nice vantage of the, look at that. I and mean, this stretches so far out there. That, and there goes the fam down there. And the next station we found was forest fires. 80% of forest fires can be prevented. It's human error, human negligence doing it. So remember Smokey Bear says only you can prevent forest fires. And I will say getting a little bit of shining vibes, Jack Torrance at the end of the movie, but it's still fun. And we found the last natural disaster station. And of course it's gonna be hurricanes. So not much to say about that. We've been through two this year and I've probably been through at least a dozen my whole life here. All right, we're finishing up here in the maze. It's been about 30 minutes here. And I gotta say it was uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> and one of our favorites when we come to downtown Mondora has a food truck here, the salted fry. And here's what we're working with. We got the loaded fries here, and the kids got their regular Belgian fry. You know, French fries are actually from Belgium. They're called frites. And even though we're at the fall festival, and it is fall here in Florida, the, the weather is telling me otherwise. It's gotta be mid 80s, and there's definitely humidity in the air.
you can't go to the fall festival and walk out of a corn maze or I'll get some corn. I got some street corn here. Let's taste it. Mm. It's got a good taste to it, some good spices on it. It's very good. And here comes Cameron. I got spider, look at him. There's something suspicious about that gator right there in the center of your screen. He hasn't moved. I don't think he's real. Oh, who's that? And if you come to the farm, make sure you check out or grab one of the pumpkins here, including the baby ones. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I was once in the FFA in high school, Future Farmers of America. This could be my office. Look at the vintage old school gas pump, Texaco here. It's not even digital, look at that. And the fall festival here is going on until November 24th. So get on up to, or down, to Mount Dora and check them out. Please like, subscribe, take care. Until next time, bye from Great Scott Farm here in Mount Dora, Florida. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider becoming a channel member. If you already are one, thanks for the support. Let's grow this together.